All right, so Goat Simulator MMO. This is a massive expansion that they've added to the game. It's uh, it's a real, real big deal. So once you go into the MMO mode, you have a choice of six classes. You have Tank, uh, Rouge, not Rogue, Rouge, Magician, Hunter, uh, no class. It's just your regular goat. And microwave. That's uh, the first game I've ever played where you can play as a microwave. I'm sure there's others, but it's the first one I've ever seen. So, uh, which class should I play? I'm going to try Hunter. I have tried this game once or twice before, just to make sure it was working. And I should note that no matter which class you choose, there is no saving. So it's permadeath. As soon as you leave the game session, you're gone. So... That's something to can uh, consider, I'm sure, for some people. If you invest a long period of time, okay. My uh, my fishing rod is uh, very ludicrously bendy. So my special attack is R, and it grabs stuff. All right, just what you need in this game is uh, grabbing ability. You are also have the lick. I can grab multiple things. You can store any object in your inventory, including people and other characters. I think that's somebody else playing the game, and I put them in my inventory, so I don't really know what happens. Um, the uh, actual interaction with other players, I'm not even sure if it's really happening. It's it's hard to say, really. Um, because I see these characters playing, and they just sort of morph in and out of existence. And I'm pretty convinced that the game does not actually have any kind of online interaction. I think it's just a single-player game with fake characters. Um, that's what I'm led to believe from, from the, the uh, playing of it myself. If anybody can prove this is actually a real MMO and not just a single player game with fake characters, please let me know, but they seem fake to me. So anyway, I'm going to do a mission, the Golem Harvester. I wonder where they got the idea for that character from. I'm sure it was not World of Warcraft, <laughs> like every other unlocked flappy goat. Okay. Pay attention to the player names, because uh, I've noticed that the, the names of the other players, uh, they seem like they're sort of... Like, look at this. That's... I don't know, I think... I really don't think this is actually an online game. I'm convinced that it, it isn't. I guess I could... I could uh, monitor the network activity from the actual game and see if what it's doing, but... Uh, that seems like too much work, really just got thrown away from the, the wheel. But regardless of whether this is actually a fake MMO and it's fooling everybody, um, it's a huge map for this game and it's much bigger than any map they've ever done. And there's lots of objects and interactivity and things to do. So as, as a regular expansion of... Um, regular expansion of the game it's it's a huge huge amazing map with lots of new abilities and things to do and missions and, and so on but i don't think it's a real mmo i'm just not convinced of that either that or it's just so glitchy that i can't tell if i'm actually playing with other people but I, i've noticed that other characters don't really seem to affect the game world, it's just, they're just sort of phasing in and out of existence, so, um, I really, <laughs> I really think this is just a, a, a ruse. Someone could prove me wrong, I love them too, so, are these apparently, uh, like another, 
But these are like the equivalent of the uh, of the um, various uh, sex in the game. <laughs> Like, are they- am I Alliance and those are the Horde players? Like in World of Warcraft? I'm just <laughs> looking at the- at the- the chat. I'm still convinced that everything is fake, that the whole game is a fake MMO, and it's not really doing it any kind of network stuff. Let's just explore a little bit here. The map is, is just absolutely astoundingly big though for this game. Again, it's a it's a really great uh, DLC, free DLC that they added. She actually gives you a mission where you have to kill all these mermaids and they're similar to the terrible, uh, what are they, Marlax or something? Or I don't remember what they're called in World of Warcraft, it's been such a long time since I played. And they make just as horrifyingly disgusting a noise. See, slow adventurer, you look mighty brave a lot more than myself. I'm afraid I'm no warrior and there's a whole lot of danger between me and the town. Do you think you could help me get to the Goatshire Tavern safely? Oh no, it's... It's, uh... It's one of those... One of those quests. <laughs> Do they really expect me to... Um... <laughs> to go with the slow character? <laughs> It would be a great video. It would be a 45 minute video if I actually did this escort quest with this character. That's funny though. Nobody likes, nobody likes escort quests. They're just the worst, absolute worst quest in the game. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not, I don't have time for this shit. I guess you could put him in your inventory and then carry him over to the actual carry him over to the actual village. <laughs> that would be funny. This map is really, really big. Is that supposed to be another player that I'm playing with? There's no way that this game is actually playing online with people. It's just not happening. This ma the map is huge. There's more, more fake players. <laughs> I mean, for a Goat Simulator game, this is a huge achievement. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> I was actually convinced that this that this they might have actually done a real MMO. For the first five minutes I was playing, and then I realized, no, there's no way. Come on, I want to just attach myself to this horse. Okay, one more time. Not working, damn it. Oh, well, I'll just go through this portal, see what happens. somewhere else now. I'm getting... <laughs> what the f hell was that? <laughs> it's, it's just like a, like a glitch machine. <laughs> I'm glad I found this thing. Is there any way to get out of here? Okay, thank you useless portal to like... <laughs> Welcome back. 
I got an achievement, so that was nice. I don't know what's going on now. Okay, I'm in a tunnel now with barrels. This porthole go. I'd like to travel to the next area. Yes, yes, I would. I'm back in uh, not so secret cow farm. The cows have lasers and they're walking on their hind legs. <laughs> okay, I like this area. This is pretty, pretty funny. They've literally like made the game. I don't know how many times bigger, like 20 times bigger, maybe in map size with this expansion. So it's pretty. It's pretty amazing, but it's not a real MMO. <laughs> Come on, it's fake. These are really powerful. Yeah, I don't think I'm. I can't even knock them away like you usually can in this game. Oh, this area is really big. The cow farm. I really think this is the kind of game the original release should have been. Like this massive, explorable area. It was pretty. It was pretty uh, small when it first came out. I'm sure they they sold enough copies to uh, to fund a, a giant expansion like this. Okay, I'm starting to get annoyed by the sheer amount of laser armed cows in this area. It's kind of causing me problems because they're so powerful I can't even really knock them down. Come on. Well, alright, I went flying there. I noticed the the game map disappeared also. The, um. Escape. Yeah, the map disappeared. It's, I might have to re, uh, respawn because uh, I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> level 7 now? I thought I was level 10. Or... Oh, these cows are just, they're just messing me up, man. There's more of them? Okay, I need to get out of this area now. It's just its just annoying me. The game also has lots of uh, original music as well in, the ex in this expansion, so I'm gonna just uh, do a um, respawn. Okay, that brought me the beginning of the cow area, so I'll just uh, back in here. Would you like to travel to the next area? Yes. Get this horse. <laughs> yeah, are these supposed to be other human players? Because um, I don't think they're real. I think this is a fake MMO, okay? <laughs> I'll go in the wheel. Highly successful wheel travel. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, first impressions, um, for an expansion for, um, Goat Simulator. This is amazing. It's a huge, huge region. Much, much bigger than the original game. Like, on a massive scale. Um,. I'm sure it'll get old fairly quickly, but there's a lot of areas to explore. Like I, I've never seen the cow, the secret cow area, the not-so-secret cow area before. 
the first time I played. not as much um, really crazy stuff though, like uh, things that launch you into space, like the original game. It would be nice if they had some uh, trampolines and so on, but uh, I can't completely complain. Or actually people and things that interact with you in this game, which is really quite interesting. Alright, well I was I was corrected. There are things that throw you into space, like the original game. I seem to always land in the ocean though, whenever I get thrown into space. Okay, I'm kinda lost here. Trying to. Alright, I might uh, respawn my character. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a real player. <laughs> Don't be fooled. This is not a real MMO. The chat. Everything's fake. It's really funny of them to do that, though. You really have to just treat this like the original goat simulator, just in a much, much bigger area. Trip? Did I just trip on an apple? Oh. Where did he go? Went into orbit. Had some very realistic physics in this game. I don't know, if I guess if you're, you know, you work all day at your job, like, splitting rocks with an axe, or putting network spaghetti together, you get home, you can play a nice relaxing game of Goat Simulator MMO. I missed my chance with the catapult. Let's try one more time. Excellent. Most successful. Okay, I think this is where I'm actually supposed to... Go now, I'm going back in the ocean. <laughs> oh, am I gonna land? Yes! Oh, I actually completed the uh, infiltration quest. Apparently, this is an enemy town, although, as you know, this game is fake. Is this a church? Oh no, there's a church in the game. Okay, the pew has. Oh, this is this is the uh, tunnel to the um, the goat farm, uh, the uh, cow farm. Thing. Yeah, there's secrets everywhere. Not so secret cow farm. Yeah, I, I had enough fun in this area. <laughs> Leave. My only complaint I would say is that um, there are a lot of kind of boring areas. It's much more spread out than the original. Oh, it does have trampolines. I knew they would have trampolines somewhere. These are quite powerful ones. Ah, damn it, I missed. I need to do a super jump. Ah. I'll try one more time. Uh, the side ones don't make me jump. Okay. This is the whole game is just a jab at uh, World of Warcraft. They're, it's all based off that that uh <laughs> That type of humor. What the hell? I saw something falling from the sky. Like I said, it is a bit a bit wide open, so it's harder to do weird like combo 
destruction like in the original game, but it's it's still really exciting. I like the dumb quests that are pointless and the fact that the whole MMO part of the game is completely fake. Very funny. Anyway, if you already have the game, you're in for a treat. It's a pretty brilliant expansion. Um, and if you don't have the game, um, well, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's worth a shot if you just like, if you like physics uh, sandbox games. That's really what it is in the end, is, it, is it's uh, sort of a hilarious physics sandbox game. So. This is just a much bigger sandbox to play in. Well, there are quite a few mushrooms around, actually. That's cool, because you, you really need things that shoot you in the air. That's sort of the the uh, goat uh, simulator way, is to go flying in the air. And these really send you off course, though. It's hard to get a second jump. Okay, well, anyway, I'll probably do a, a new new video on this but uh, for now um, yeah go simulate MMO what a hilarious treat I'll have to try microwave class next time <laughs>